Hi guys, I am thinking today about some fun holiday painting. And I love, I did a, a gnome um, probably a year ago or so, a Christmas gnome and some of you pulled it out of the archives and started painting it again. But I thought, I just wanna paint another cute little gnome with you today and make some holiday colors with it and see if I can excite you a little bit about the season that's coming. And I know that the season, the holiday season, isn't all about um, Santa and things that have to do with, you know, what we celebrate traditionally with Christmas, but um, that it was all about Christ. And so I'm just hoping during the season when we're giving thanks, uh, for the blessings of our country, whatever country you live in. We feel blessed to be in America and um, the traditions that we have and the things that happen for our Thanksgiving. I know many of you have different Thanksgivings than uh, America has and, and different purposes. But also knowing that this is a wonderful family time so I'm hoping that I touch your spirit a little bit today and get you in the mood. This is 2021 and it is October and this is the season I like to get ready for the holidays. So if you um, think about, um, well, if you happen to watch this some other time, then getting ready for the holidays, you'll know that this is when I filmed it, okay? So let's get started right away. Okay, so I'm on, I, instead of the canvas, I'm using uh, some art paper, and I'm going to just draw a gnome's hat. Okay, now remember, it comes up and over. This makes it easy because there's a nose. Oh, we're going to do a bigger nose. I'm going to try to do it darker so you can see it better. So you could start by putting the nose if you want to. I'm gonna do a little bit darker so you can see it better. Oh my gosh, I keep breaking the wire. All right, and I'm going to have a wispy little beard out here, but what I need is to put some clothes. So this is gonna be the shirt, and I'm gonna put some fur down here and then we are going to have some boots okay but we're going to have all that beard really nice beard here and okay so let's get started i am i'm thinking that we could just put a big pom-pom up here all right, we've got some gloves. And we've got this too long here. So I'm just taking a little pencil and drawing my shape. So we have this is going to be his his beard area, but it's also going to be his shirt. All right, and then we're going to have a cute little hat, pom pom at the top. We got some fur going in here and here and here and here. Okay. All right. And uh, we'll just put some little bits of holly, holly berry around. Okay. So I am going to get out. This is multi surface paint. So I have apple red, berry wine citrus green, sap green, some licorice. Oops, and I need white. White's pretty important. <laughs> and so let me pull out some white. Got a lot of beard. This is the multi-surface. I have two ounce and eight ounce. All of, all of our product is on onestroke.com. O-N-E stroke.com. Okay, so the only thing I need to put in here is a little bit of medium. Okay, so 
we're going to get some media on the, this is a 16 and get some licorice and I'm going to come right under here. Okay. So his little outfit will be right in here. And I usually put gray under the beard, but now I'm going to come right in here and paint his little glove. On both sides, I could use a smaller brush. This is a little too hard with this big brush. Okay, you can hang stockings. There's all kinds of things you can hang from his hand, like he's holding them. All right. Now I like to come in with apple red. It's a bright red. Now I want to tell you a couple of things. If you're on wood or glass, you can do a couple coats of apple red and be fine. If you are on black or like I'm using this paper or if you do fabric painting, the problem is, is it disappears. So I, as soon as it dries, you have to kind of come back and put another coat. All right, so I always go up and over the nose. And sometimes I leave it where you can put beady eyes, but I'm not doing that on this one. Okay. Okay, this is what happens if I get a heavy ridge, I wipe it off and then come back down and come across here. Okay, we're going to let that totally dry. And then I'm going to come over here. Oops, I have a piece of paper on there. And make the red shirt. Just the sleeves poking out here. All right. Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to put fur here so you really won't see his legs. And then I want to get maybe a smaller brush about an eight and we're going to put black boots all right so we're going to come all the way there and all the way out here okay and then come across to do the heel up here a little bit so the fur can go over that and do the heel There we go. All right, so you can do little cute little shoe ties or uh, cross hatching on there. And I've lost my thumb over here, so let's make a bigger thumb. And you want this all to dry because we don't want it red, um, pink fur. So I'm going to come in here and pick up one little smaller brush because we've got to do the nose. And what happens with the nose is I use coffee latte for a skin color. Okay. And I just got a little bit of coffee latte and I, oh, that's floating me. I thought it was my white, but it wasn't. I hope you enjoy doing fun, different elements for the holidays. I just did Christmas and uh, class where I did all kinds of Christmas elegant um, icons. And so what I did was I showed you how you can make each one of them into an ornament. And so from a llama and a Grinch and Santa, I actually didn't do any mountains. And there we go. 
we're gonna make see that wicker straight up a little bit so that's good i can shade in here a little bit more see i can get a good skin tone with that and then i can just catch a little bit of weight and put a glare on those you get a little bit closer all right so while this is drying i'm going to come here and use some um, I still use red again, because as this dries, you can put another stronger, a nicer second coat of apple red, and it just makes it brighter. We'll see on this hat is what I'm looking for. Okay, and like I said, I can put a Christmas tree on one hand, and let's just do a stocking over here. Um, so I make the stocking. Well, let's just do more of a traditional stocking. Let's do the sock because I don't want it to hang long longer as I'm creating the steps for this. Okay, so we'll put a loop in his hand with some um, sticks or something inside there. The over here. We can come up. Let's let's take a little bit. This is an eight still. Let's come right here and do a little Christmas tree. Okay. So I have to do, I'm still gonna paint the stuff underneath because you never know what part's gonna peep out. Okay. So I'm gonna come right over that glove. And over the hand. Okay. All right. So let's take some citrus. And we're just going to come all up along here. All right. So do you see this? I'm picking up this color, the citrus, and I'm pulling from the outside edge like a daisy. Push, lift, push, lift, all the way up. All right. Now, all in the middle, you're going to walk this across. Walk it across. And if you watch, leaving that dark in there gives a nice layer. Chisel, 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 chisel. And every time I pick up paint, it's already got set green. So I'm just coming here and stroking the citrus. Okay. And I could put a few little sprigs of greenery in the stocking. I'm trying to pick this up. There we go. So let's put this here. All right. So I can just put a little bit of sprigs. So I'm leading with the sap. Yeah, you can put candy canes in yours, or you can put something else, but I'm just going to fill that stocking with a little bit of evergreen. Okay, so let's come in here with the berry wine. So I'm going to medium with the eight, put some berry wine, and this is what happens. I'm going to come across. Yeah, some more berry wine. Okay. Berry wine thicker, so I have to really work on it. Okay, so then here, I want to make the hill. Oh. I'm covering it. All right, I'm going to start over <laughs> because my brush is a little big for this size. All right. So I can come right in here and right in this tail part. All right.
got lots of rain here so it looks kind of moody all right so i'm going to come right along here and up over the nose y'all see that okay over the nose and then down Now, a couple of things I can do, all right, is I can make stripes on, on my cap, on his hat here, all right? So one way to do that is I can just chisel the whole brush, okay? Now watch what happens. I'm going to come down a little bit closer to show you that if I chisel. Oh my gosh, it's storming out there. Okay. Okay, we get a little bit more very light. I keep freshening it up. Now I'm not trying to make a fancy stripe. I'm just see it's wrinkled a little bit because of the paper. But when it dries, it flattens out better. But this is fun for a card or a cute little cream pitcher. All right. So then I can also do stripes coming down here. Just to give you that striping effect. Okay. And so I'm going to take this rake brush. See the rake brush? I wet it, I put a little bit in the water. And I'm going to put some fur along here and some fur along here. Okay. Oh my gosh, you didn't see it at all. Okay, so I touched here and I pulled, pulled, pulled. Got a fur look. I went and got a little bit more white. And and a little bit of fur there. I'm also using that as the beard itself. So I can come right up here and look, I can pull it all the way around here and make his little beard mustache all in one. But you want to make sure that the red is all dry. So see, I'm pulling this and we're making it longer. Oops, see, I'm getting a little bit of red we don't want that a little bit of feathering so his beard looks cute see that now this is all with a rake brush now sometimes i make it a little long pointed beard but i want you to see that you can do two things you can lay it here flat or you can use it on the chisel, chisel of the brush, okay? All right, so I just say he's a little fussy wuzzy. Then you can come right up here. See, I can chisel from here. Chisel, chisel all the way around. make it kind of fuzzy up there a little bit taller so this is all chiseled so it, it's faster than using a liner and just doing the little steps okay so he's kind of cute what i would do is i think that i want his little outfit i want it to come down a little bit more and then come up like he's wearing a little bit of a jacket. There we go. And then, okay, there we go. Just a little bit. I can also come in here, guys, and stripe his shirt some. There we go. Now, I just think he's a little cute guy. 
might be fun. You can take and pull some little bit of shading off his jacket, a little bit on his toe, a little bit of gray. Isn't that kind of cool? And he's just kind of fun. There's a lot of you do. You put a fun little background. We can also come along here and dot the stocking with our little kiss tool. That's on my site too. I call it a kiss tool because it looks like a candy kiss. And there we go, all on here. And he's done. So I hope that you have a great day and you think about coming and painting this little guy on something really fun, some kind of surface, greeting card, cute on a t-shirt. My grandchildren will like this too. All right, sounds fun. I'll see you next time.